let's let the With combat begin. And... them work so well for you last time. Yeah, I just want to have it available if I decide to either taunt or negotiate a surrender. Okay, well, in that case, um, <laughs> let's roll for initiative because that's not going to end like. As you begin taunting them, all three badgers immediately divert to Filkin. Oh, no, I hadn't taunted them yet. Oh, of course. I, I, I just wanted to have the spell with a 10 minute duration going and see how the combat goes. <laughs> ah. Ah. Next time we oh. avoid the woods. Basically saying, let's avoid the entire south. Yes. Next time, let's avoid Atlanta. <laughs> On our way to Florida. Alright. Giant badger. It. Plus nothing. I am struggling really hard here to resist singing the Badger song. <laughs> All right, Filkin, what are you doing? I will like to get a, some some flavor text out just simply, or flavor text. Um, <laughs> uh, flee now, and uh, we, you will avoid more of this, and then I will cast a ray of sickness on the one in the front. Which is a first level sorcerer spell, so you can make me roll on the wild search table. I think you have to, right? Because you're tied to chaos. Too. Uh, it, if I use tide of chaos, the GM can make me on every single spell if he wants. Which uh, I've actually never looked at the chart. I'm excited. I don't know even what was oh, on man. it. So it's on page one hundred four, awesome. I believe. Yeah, roll. All right, go. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, he could kill all of you. All oh, right. <clears throat> You could lose 40 10 lightning damage on three allies. Nice. Uh, instead, he glows brightly with bright light for 30 feet radius. Ding. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of you is blinded until the end of its next turn. Uh, oh. So, uh, wow. basically, all of your allies, if they continue to stand next to you, will all be blinded by your amazing. Flash in the pan. Whatever that is. Blinded by the light. So, the ray of sickness still goes off, is that correct? Yes. And you regain use of uh, Tides of Chaos. Oh, I forgot about that part. Yes. So, I will ray of sickness the the lead one. Uh, spell attack range of 18. Damage is 6 and a DC 13 con save where he has disadvantage. Until the end of my next turn. Okay. Plus two. He's fine. Six points, buddy. Okay. The badger looks kind of bad, but he doesn't look anywhere near as bad as you were this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it takes special time. talent to look that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Um... Yeah, can I move away from the party? Yeah. In the uh, just coincidentally a retreat fashion, but uh, away from the badgers. But I, I don't want to blind you guys. Sorry, this thing's happened sometimes. I'm going to move just back away from the party if possible. Bloody psychers. So they don't right. get. Am I right, uh, Warhammer 40k fans? Vote for Dark yeah. Heresy on my forum, guys. <laughs> I want to see it, but do you want to see it? Let me know. And then go read Servants of the Imperium, and then let me know. Saban, you're up. Uh, how far away are they? Uh, 30 feet. Uh, I will attempt to javelin it up then. Okay. On whichever one is the closest, which okay. it looks like they're all same distance. Uh, yeah, you can always go for the one I got poisoned. Nah, yeah, I'll go for a different one. Then. Okay, you're going for a different one. I like it. Uh, a 13, 13 will hit. Four points. All right, 
you kind of hit it in its rear leg, and it begins going. And I will move in front of Soren. Okay, Soren. <laughs> he even steps in front of you. I'm going to take out uh, some salt, holy water, start throwing it on my nearby companions, including myself, and say, may the first and the last bless you in this battle. What's the effect of that? Was, was that a bless, spell? Uh, bless, bless is uh, you roll a d4, add it to any attack rolls or saving okay. throws. So you're throwing salt water on people. Yes. <laughs> All right, PD. Okay, well, there's a whole lot of them, aren't there? Well, not as many as the Elks. We don't know how terribly terrible they are. I'm not sure I want to be jumped on them yet. So you know what? I'll let them come a little closer, and then I will jump on them. Okay. Um, they all charge. They then... <laughs> Badger style. Beatty had a had a feeling that this was going to happen. Well, it was nice to know you guys. <laughs> what is your AC statement? It is fifteen. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, you're gonna get hit twice. Oh, that's gonna that's, piss me off. Wow, they get a lot of attacks. Six damage, and then you're going to take six damage. Ouch. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The second one's only four. Ouch. Four. Take ten points of damage. I will. Okay. How are you doing? Not good. But That's good. I appear to be very angry and wounded. <clears throat> very angry and wounded. Yeah, that would be a good description of how you are currently. Petey. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I'll get it. get up in there. Uh, so which of these two here look more hurt? Which of these two here look more hurt? Um, I think the middle one is the more hurt one. All right, then I show advance in there and start my pummeling fury on that one and then turn my direction to the one south of him if that okay. one falls over. I will right. go ahead and spend the fancy key points because okay. clearly extra beatings are in order. Ooh. Ooh. A 20. So it looks like 4 damage, 10 damage, and then 5 damage. Okay, so your second blow is going to cause the badger to explode. <laughs> what? And then I'll apply the so fire. You like hit him in the side. face, and his jaw just comes off, and he just falls over. Out of it, uh, and wow. then you punch the last badger for five damage. That is how PD rolls. Wilkin, is there one badger left or two? Uh, two. There are two badgers left. Um, one of which is the one I cast the poison on earlier, I believe. Yep. I took six. Sure. Um, as a bonus action, I will give. Staven, Bardic Inspiration. Go for their face and or neck. And um, then I will... No, use... no. What's your Bard style? Come on, man. You can't uh, just... Your Bardic Inspiration literally can't just be shouting at people. That's not <laughs> a thing. Yeah. I need to work. It's my, my Bardic is... My Bardic is my pan flute. I play the pan flute. Okay. So you lay down a quick rhythm real quick. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> I thought about oh. buying a harmonica on uh, or a pan flute on Amazon, but I wanted to see if I lived through this session first. <laughs> Get an ocarina, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Up your game. I'll ask about that. Uh, so <laughs> I will. I will play the pan flute to give uh, uh, Staven a bardic inspiration D6, uh, which can be used on an ability, an attack, or a save for the next ten minutes. And as my standard, I will cast dissonant whispers on. The uh, the wounded badger with, that I hit earlier should be a DC 13 wisdom save, and he still takes damage either way. Okay. What happens if he fails? Um, if he fails, 
He takes full damage, and as a reaction, he must immediately move as far as, as speed will allow away from me. Oh, he's good. So he, he takes half... Damage. Uh... Daven, do you feel that you're being amped up by this flute playing? <laughs> Uh, at first, I will just be confused, especially after the <laughs> blessing as well. But uh, yeah, it uh, it has some kind of effect on me. Anyways, I'm not sure what it is. It's dubstep, right? Mm. It's, it's that almost I sounds song good. "Club to Death." He's playing it on the flute. Five I damage. Will. Still going to take him out. Staven, you're up. Uh, I guess I will try to hack this thing's legs out from underneath it. You want to use your bardic inspiration and your uh, bless? Is that possible? Yeah, I don't see why not. Sold. Got uh, a bunch of shit to your rolls, right? 20 plus <laughs> 1d6 plus 1d4. 1d4, yep. Plus 4. Or plus and then 2. He rolls a yeah, one. it's 4. Okay, you hit. <clears throat> Pretty accurate hit. Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah. you bring down your sword board. Not really sure what it is. Piece of corrugated it's, siding. It, it looks almost like a sword, but it's <laughs> yeah. And you slice this badger <laughs> in half. And I just go ah, spitting all over the place and shaking my head. You and the sword is right. stuck in the ground at this point. I have to reef it out of the ground. Rufus just spends the whole fight writing down the actions. And again, he's narrating it all out loud. And he's like, and that's when I took the giant sword and cut the badger in half. <laughs> Clearly the device so these were pleased with you. Were these pretty big sized badgers? Yes, they were giant badgers. So, so because of the badger that was split in half, I, I hold up the two ends and say, look, we can make new boots out of these. Oh, you! You're reading my you mind. You boots. have someone with the ability to skin a badger and then leather it. No, but a... we know of a druid that might help us. Not a good idea, right? No. No. Hey, I, I killed a bunch of badgers in the wild. <laughs> no, really. I I do want to. Uh, you know, we had venison yesterday. Now we can see what badger meat tastes like. Just let me sit down for a minute, and I, I will slump some... down to the ground. You're going to take a short rest to use a, a breather? <laughs> if no one is opposed, I will just sit there. Okay. Yeah, we. I'll uh, start a little, a little fire to cook the meat. Badger meat? Yep. Oh. Cook it up. Part of the reason I can't speak with animals is that some of my bard spells require them to be able to understand me in order for me to mess them up. That's good. Ah, uh, now it makes so much more sense. Uh, that's Thanks actually so a side effect. I, I really just wanted the character to be able to walk around the woods like a... I'm trying to build a fake ranger out of bard and sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, th thanks to the powers of Google, I've discovered that badger meat has a very rich taste and is... Perfectly edible. Oh, Google. Thanks, These Google. Some kind of freak badgers, though, right? I mean... That, that needs to get more meat. I, I think yeah. Falcon is going to stick to a, uh, a diet of just grains and water for the next few days. He's not... Oh, you don't want venison? Meat. We're not out of venison, <laughs> either. No, no, thank you. Perhaps you'd like some uh, elk. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, Phil can barely controls the urge to throw up. So you're still continuing to travel to the east for the rest of the day? Uh, that's what Phil can suggest if the party will agree to it. Okay. So after well, this rest, I can... I, I get the impression to... that if I left, everyone else would die, and that would kind of go against my ethos. After the one-hour rest, you can roll your hit die, gain that many hit points back. You get back seven. Not bad. Yay! It is indeed pretty good. That's almost put me back to full. 
I was quite impressed when 10 did not knock you into the next dimension. I am quite tough. I have uh, so a... So as the western sun begins to slip beneath the unpassable pass, you get a brief glimpse of a, something reflecting off of like a, a hill high to the east. And you see, upon closer inspection, that there are a set of ruins southeast of you, perhaps 10, 12 miles, uh, that rise above the tree line, but seem to be cleverly disguised to look like trees. Hey, is that the ruins you were looking for? Uh, so Rufus is like, Mm, yes, well, <clears throat> they certainly could be. Of course, I mean, <clears throat> who would know? Uh, so we made it uh, 24 miles to the east today? Yep. And these ruins appear to be about 12 miles to the southeast? 10, 12 miles. I mean, you'd have to make a better inspection check to Shh, get any yeah. specifics. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm just trying to take some, some Falcon memory map notes here. Well, that was a bit unusual, gentlemen, when I started to glow like the sun. Uh, perhaps now you understand why I believe that, uh, you know, I might just be cut out for a little bit more than uh, shoveling crap into a cart for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. All I well, saw was I, red. I, I guess you could also serve as a street <laughs> lamp. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what talent that is. Well, you have to be oh. on a post, wouldn't you? I don't mean any insult by it, but I'm just not sure what the glowing does. Well, there's no insult that's taken since I readily admit I have absolutely no ability to control it whatsoever, nor do I know how I even earned it. So it just kind of happens. But that's that's part of my saga is to figure out uh, why these things are happening and, um, and uh, see what it's meant for. I really don't understand it. Have you considered rapid. controlling your inner self? Honestly, never crossed my mind. That's not I will uh, clap him on the back and say, it seems we have more in common than I initially thought. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stephen, I definitely uh, liked you from the start. I like your attitude towards, um, well, everything so far. <laughs> it's very rare that I've heard that recently. Hmm. Not, I'm not a That's fan of the... Uh, yeah, I'm not a, not a fan of the city myself. I'm, I'm going to be outside the walls and the laws, if you know what I mean. Mm. Well, are we going to keep looking for a town, or are we going to go explore those ruins? I'm very interested in those ruins. Now that we have a glimpse of what the destination is, my curiosity is growing, and I'd like to at least check inside the entrance and and see what we're up against. Well, I don't know. What about the, the sort of casually sort of kind of hints at the people who are currently sick? Are you sure they can keep up? I think he's one of them, right? The person that you're talking to. They seem fine for now. Unless you have more <laughs> of that medicine to give them. Yeah, he could find well, them automatically every day with the 25. Okay, he so I... picked up enough of it to... Keep them supplied I, I, for a few days. I've basically figured out which herbs they are, so now I just look for them as we go. Yep. I'll use a message cantrip to Soren. They don't seem rabid yet. I think we might be in the clear, but... <laughs> as I wipe Maybe my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite okay, go well, yet. As long as we, we keep them on the herbal diet, they should be able to tide over until we actually do get to a town. So if we want to explore, this would be a good time to do it. Good. I kind of want to see what's on. in there. Yeah, at least we know we if we just get a uh, closer look, and you know we can actually complete uh, finding finding the temple, and uh, getting closer to receiving payment for our services. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, who's doing a watch throughout the night? Same deal as normal. Third watch, best watch. 
I'll keep on that second watch. I agree, Petey. You can take an inspiration for that. Sweet. Uh, Petey, why uh... don't you roll perception? Oh, boy. As something happens during second watch. Uh, uh. Damn. Um, well... Too much inner focus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens here. You are a leaf on the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So, Pete, I need you to roll initiative. Uh-oh. As four wolves leap out of the bush in the night and try to drag you off Violently before you can. Uh, oh, that's not the right one. That's a werewolf. That's a wolf. <laughs> Those wolves, man. They came out of the trees. <laughs> Drop they came out of the trees. <clears throat> so the wolves spend their, let's call it surprise round, moving into uh, surrounding. And then dash again towards Petey. Uh, they seem to once more move with unusual intelligence for animals. Almost as if they're being directed. Uh, you're acting first, Petey. What would you like to do? As a free action, I shall scream. Okay. Everyone else can roll initiative as they will now join <laughs> at the beginning of the next round. That seems like the thing to do. And how many of them are there? There are four. And they are all in melee with you. Ah, okay. Well, they're all up on top of me. So what's up with that? <clears throat> so here's what I will do. I will take an attack. I will take my bonus attack. And then I will spend a key to use the dodge action. Isn't dodge a bonus? Um, key? If you... That's a good question. I have to check <clears throat> that. This Damn, is, this my is, imprecise it, knowledge of this new system. This has interrupted our normal re or our long rest, correct? That's correct. So I do not have bardic inspiration. Okay. Fortunately, key points only need a short rest to get back. I came so close to taking animal friendship over dissonant whispers. Um, I don't know <laughs> if it would have worked on these. <laughs> I don't know if it would have worked on these hyper intelligent animals, but my god, that would have. Well, I sure would have liked to have tested yeah, it out. Better, go. wouldn't it? All right. Uh, I think if they have intelligence of four or higher, they're immune. Oh. Okay, so but yes, patient defense is a also a bonus action, so I can't get two attacks. Fine, then. Be that way. It still seems like a good idea. So I will punch one, and then I will do the, the, the dodge you thing. You just randomly lash out at him while you're still like in a street fighter uh, sprite pose where you just move between two positions. Hey, man. Guard. Now we're talking. 15 is going to hit. Did you die to wolves before? Yes, I almost thought that was on purpose. Uh, which, <laughs> which, um, oh, uh, yeah, like in the exact same situation, too. You got surprised around by wolves and you're alive. Um,. Which wolf would you like to hit? I suppose I'll go for that one. Okay. All right. And then I will do that crazy dodge thing. So I think they have to roll to hit you first, right? How does really? dodge work? You tell me. Oh, dodge get, basically gives them all disadvantage. Ah, okay. All right. They all have disadvantage then. Um, they all also have advantage from pack tactics, so they just roll normally. Well, I Yikes. guess that sort of works. <clears throat> That's a good thing, then. I'll okay. take what I can get. Uh, 10 to 14 to hit. Uh -huh. well, what's your AC? 15. All right. And then let's sort the order. I dodge it with my amazing monkish wisdom. Daven, um, you're awakened uh... by the sound of, you know, <laughs> Petey's like, Hey guys, it's getting real. And then you notice that there's four <laughs> growling wolves, like literally all over Petey, who's just like whoosh, 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 dodging every wolf and blow. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. So I'm still laying on the ground. Yes. Uh, you can stand up for half your movement speed. I will do so in attempt to does, sword. It doesn't even provoke anymore. Nope. Uh, I guess I will enter a rage immediately since I've been woken up before my watch. <laughs> and to try to cut one in half. All right, let's do it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, nope. It's okay. I'm, I had to sleep in my eyes. We call that the agog method. All right, Soren. <clears throat> I'm going to stand up as well. Okay. <laughs> and move around. Okay. And say. You're uh, still staying in melee with him? Yes. Okay. And I will uh, raise my hammer to the sky as my bonus action. Say, Odin! <laughs> <laughs> I shall smite thee! And then uh, hit the uh, hammer to the ground, causing a thunder wave, uh, which is a spell. So I need they need to roll uh, saving throws verse... Con. Okay. Who is the target? Uh, it's a 15-foot cube around me, so the two wolves. You know that your allies are all within 15 feet of you. Well, it's a... Uh, it's on the origin. Right. And if it's a cube, yeah, you're, you're going to hit everybody here. You're going to hit all of the wolves plus all your allies. This is not exact. The wolves are supposed to be like five foot squares. So, I see. Oh. Yeah, that I was trying to get a lot of things. They are not dire wolves. They're just they are just wolves. Yeah. So okay. I was. <clears throat> what I was attempting to do is uh, get in position to only affect the, the eastern wolves, and the fifteen foot cube is basically five foot left of me, five foot right of me, five foot above me, five foot. Oh, I'll accept that. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. okay. Oh, it's a five foot radius. Yes, that's that's essentially what it is. Yeah. Okay, that, that's like that's a big difference. <laughs> okay, uh, one of them will fail. Okay, so I roll two d eight damage. The one that succeeds takes half, and then the one that is failed gets pushed. Mm, nice roll. Uh, the one that failed is dead. <laughs> so, and I'm not worried the, about that. The, the one that was failed, okay, so it doesn't get pushed since he's dead. His head explodes from the thunder. No, he still gets pushed. He literally <laughs> slow motion barrel rolls over Staven while like being electrocuted to death. <laughs> oh, uh, it says any secu unsecured objects are completely uh, pushed away in the area, and also um, with there is a the spell emits a thunderous boom audible up to three hundred feet. Okay, so you just wow. gave away your position to everybody. Oh, yes. shit, no map. Good call, Dom, good call. There we go. <laughs> go back up to those rules. Could have been a dry lightning strike. Okay, so, yeah, you just, you just boom right through the night. You can hear it echoing off of the ruins after a few seconds and then coming back at you. Um... All of the rocks around the nearby campfire are all unsecured and go flying in different directions. And you hear Rufus is like, What the bloody? <laughs> uh, Filkin. Uh, how close is the nearest wolf to me? Uh, 15 feet. <laughs> so if standing takes half my movement, right? Yep. Yes. Which leaves me with 12.5 feet of movement. Okay. Um,. Can I stand and draw two daggers and get into melee range, or no? I don't think so. I think you can draw one dagger as a free action. Yeah, I looked it up. It's There's a whole list of things you can do, and it doesn't... Yeah. If you um, actually have the du the dual-wielding feet, then you can draw two weapons at the same time. Oh, that's a good explanation. Thank you. I do not. Um, In which case, you only draw one at a time. I still have one spell left for the day, but I'm just going to stand and um, uh, firebolt 
the one in between Sorn and PT. What does your fireball look like? Uh, it is a. I'm glad you asked. Thank you. Uh, 